Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be discussing and breaking down some of the most popular genres in EDM. So let's get into it. So today is part two in a series where I am breaking down popular genres and subgenres in EDM. So this video is really beginner friendly. It's really just gonna be a general overview of these genres. It's not super technical, but I hope that it helps give you a feeling for each of these genres and the unique characteristics that apply to each of them. Quick disclaimer before we get into it. Constructive criticism is totally welcome, but please be kind to myself and others in the comments. Without further ado, let's get into the genres. So today I'm gonna to be discussing six genres, rhythm, psytrance, bass house, melodic dubstep, moombatone, and deep house. Part one covered the big genres in EDM, so now I'm getting a little bit more into subgenres that a lot of people requested I talk about. So first off, let's talk about rhythm. <laughs> Rhythm is like the wonkier, bouncy, swampy version of dubstep. Some people would argue that it's kind of its own genre, but I would say that it is a subgenre of dubstep and it also is derived from reggae and Jamaican dancehall culture. The word rhythm itself comes from the Jamaican slang pronunciation of rhythm. The name rhythm was allegedly coined by the artist Jakes in 2012. So rhythm is built on loose drum arrangements, percussive triplets, and extreme bass lines. And it typically is played around 140 to 150 BPM. And again, that triple percussion arrangement is what is coming from the Jamaican sort of reggae music. People I feel like definitely would describe it as like the dirtier, swampier, wonky side of dubstep. It's definitely a genre that headbangers are still a pretty big fan of, but I feel like there's a little bit more energy and bounce to it. It's definitely a little bit more fun to dance to. It's definitely grown in popularity the last few years. I will include a couple of clips of songs here to give you an idea of what rhythm sounds like. Some examples of artists that would fall under this category are Boogie T, Megalodon, Bad Clat, Infect, Ominous, Blox, Akira, Subtronics, Monks, Squinto, Midnight Tyrannosaurus. Now this is where you get into the nitty gritty details because some of these artists could be considered dubstep on their own, but they do have some rhythm tracks. So I'm not saying these artists are specifically only playing rhythm, but they do have a couple songs that fall under this category. Alrighty, the next subgenre we're going to talk about is a personal favorite of mine, and that is Psy Trance, otherwise known as Psychedelic Trance. This falls under the 140 to 170 BPM, very fast pace. It's also characterized from hypnotic arrangement and synthetic rhythms, and it was actually born out of the genre Goa Trance. Side trance is pulsing, it's hypnotic, it's high pace, and it's just fast, it's intense version of trance. It's got more of a tribal feel to it because again, the genre Goa comes from India, so you do have an Eastern influence into this type of music. Examples would be Asterix, Avalon, Raja Ram, Coming Soon, Vinny Vici, Abraxas, Demibo, Cardiac, Armin Van Buren, and Seven Lions have some side trance tracks as well. I'm a massive Seven Lions fan, and I would say being on the more mainstream side, I got introduced to side trance through the likes of Vinny Vici and Armin Van Buren and Seven Lions, and I love side trance drops more than anything and now at a festival i 10 out of 10 recommend going to see a side trance set there's just nothing like the energy that comes out of it and if you're a trance fan but you want something that's like a little bit more intense and aggressive and upbeat i would highly recommend checking out a side trance set <laughs> Okay, the next genre I'm gonna talk to you guys about is my current favorite genre, and that is bass house. I have my house head shirt on today. 
Bass house is bass heavy house music. It's fun, it's upbeat, it's something you wanna shake your booty to. And to me, it's a little bit of a melting pot. I wanted to read two quotes to you guys. One from AC Slater, who is a pioneer of bass house music. He said, it fills in all the gaps between garage and bass line and future house and electro. And then Valentino Khan described it as, I guess to define characteristics, I would say bass house has got a lot of classic drums and percussions to it, but it also has the wobbles of dubstep at the same time. I'm hearing the term more and more often these days and it's helping to define a movement. This can only be a good thing. But let's face it, AC Slater has been doing it for a long, long time before it was cool. You can't write about bass house without writing about him. Jack Beats have been doing this for a very long time as well, which yes, if you wanna look up bass house, I would recommend looking up AC Slater and Night Bass, his record label, and then Jack Beats. Bass House, I believe, falls into 120 to 126 BPM. This is a genre that's gonna give you like the whoa, 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 from like the song Feel the Volume by Jaws. That's a perfect example of Bass House. It does have a little bit of an edge to it as far as house music goes. I just love the bass lines in it. It's the perfect thing to dance to and to shuffle to, and it quickly has become my favorite subgenre. I just absolutely love the artists that fall under this category, which for example, again, AC Slater, Jack Beats, Wax Motif, love him. Joyride, Dusty Cloud, Valentino Khan can sometimes play bass house, Jaws, Moxie, Gasly, Bro Hug, Abstract, F Word, Mala, Bollock, Kendall, and Jubilee are all artists that would fall under this category. Again, check out the label Night Bass if you wanna have some good artist recommendations. Out of all the genres I'm talking about today, this is the one I recommend you checking out the most, especially if you love house music and you love to dance, look into bass house. All right, another subgenre that I know people are very, very dedicated to is melodic dubstep. This one has been gaining a ton of popularity in the last few years, and for good reason. Two of my favorite artists technically fall under this category, Seven Lions and Elenium. This genre is for like my headbangers who wanna cry in the club, if you know what I'm saying. It's obviously a subgenre of dubstep, but this is where you get a little bit more melodic and feelsy and ethereal with the different lyrics, but the drops in it still have that dubstep growl to them. If you were emo, or like punk in high school, I feel like you like melodic dubstep. <laughs> it's a softer version of dubstep. It's more soulful. I feel like the lyrical content in these songs are definitely more on the feelsy side, but you still have the build up and drops that are associated with dubstep. I'm gonna play some song examples here, but the song Island by Seven Lions is a perfect example. The Evolution EP, which is Excision and Wooly, their song Oxygen and Another Me with Seven Lions, great examples of melodic dubstep. Elenium and Excision feel something, so definitely check out all of these songs. artists that would fall under this category. This is where it gets tricky because a lot of people, and even when I was doing my own research, there's like muddy waters between these, but there's melodic bass, melodic dubstep, and future bass, and I feel like they can be very easily confused. A lot of these artists play a little bit of each of these things. So Elenium, for example, Seven Lions, Trifecta, AU5, Wooly, Said the Sky, Xylent, Midas, Crystal Skies, Sometimes Dabin, Sometimes Virtual Riot. Basically anyone on Ophelia Records, if you look them up, Ophelia Records is Seven Lions record label. Again, like some of them are more future based artists or melodic based artists, but you do have people who produce melodic dubstep songs as well. I know that's really confusing, but when you hear these song clips, Really just focus on the build up and the drop. If it's got a little bit of a heavier dubstep kind of sound to it, that probably falls under this. And my friend BB Howell, you guys should check out her channel. She is a massive melodic bass fan. She described it best. Future bass is a little softer, a little bit more flowy, and the drops aren't as harsh. 
The next genre is Moombatone. I had so many people ask me why I didn't cover this in part one, so I'm bringing it here for you guys. This genre is all about fun for me. If you guys wanna dance, if you like some Latin flair and reggae flair to your dance music, this is for you. Moombatone is a blend of Dutch house music with also reggae, dance hall, and a little bit of Latin flair to it. Artists like Dylan Francis and Gesture have definitely popularized this genre. Okay, so the name actually came from an artist, Dave Nada, who was playing a show in 2009. He took the track Moomba, which is a track by Chucky, and I believe it was remixed by Afrojack, and he slowed it down from 128 beats per minute to 108 beats per minute. And out of that, boom, came Moombatone. Some of the characteristics of this are fast drums, spread out bass lines, dramatic builds, and I feel like a lot of the songs also have Latin artists um, singing on the tracks as well, which is awesome. So Insomniac Events actually just had a live stream called Moombatone Massive. So if you guys want, all of those sets are on YouTube. I would definitely recommend listening to all of them. Um, so some of the artists that played again, Dylan Francis, Gesture. Uh, there's Major Laser and Diplo who can play some Moombatone tracks, etc., etc. Trop Killers, Craze, Noise Kid, El Dusty, Good Times Ahead can kind of fall under this category. So again, I would definitely go check out the lineup from that virtual festival and listen to those sets. This is just a great genre to shake your booty to, I'm not going to lie to you, it's the best. Alright, and last but certainly not least, we're going to slow things down a little bit here. Mellow things out because we're going to be talking about Deep House. So this is an extremely popular genre that falls under house music, but this is known for more of its restraint, minimalism, sophistication, slow down tempos. I've grown to love this genre. Um, it used to be a little too chill for me, but now I'm really big into Anjuna Deep, the label, and Lene and Yato and so many other artists that fall under this category. Black Coffee is a really big one. Tracks can have a BPM anywhere from like 100 to 130 depending on the artist. I've been to some Deep House shows and there's just something about it that it's all about like the buildup and the experience of the whole night. Like they can play extremely long sets. I did one that was a boat around New York City and it was the Anjuna Deep label and it was just such a good night. Like you can still dance to it and have fun, especially at live sets, but it's also great music to put on in the background, to work to and just relax to. And sometimes I meditate to it as well. So again, artist recommendations, the Anjuna Deep label, James Grant of Above and Beyond founded this. It's an incredible source of artists that you can find that all play Deep House music. So Yato, Jody Wisternoff, Lainey is my personal favorite, Latrell, Black Coffee, Dusky, big fan of Dusky recently, Solomon, Ben Bomer, Peggy Goo, Cuba Color, all great examples of deep house artists. So you guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this was helpful and you guys learned something new. Again, my background is not in music production so this wasn't meant to be super technical. I really just wanted this to be beginner friendly and give you an overview of these genres and subgenres so you have a better feeling for them and a better appreciation for all of them because they're all incredible genres genres and as an EDM fan I think it's important to know a little bit about all of them and respect all of them in their own right. Again all my resources, playlists, song recommendations will be listed down below so you guys can go explore and if you like this video it would be a huge help to give this a thumbs up, share it with a friend and please subscribe to my channel. I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. Please be nice in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.